Barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve a um, question that's related to uh, high level waves and uh, topic eight uh, energy uh, production. So here we have a poi floating in a vertical tube. So here this one is floating in a simple harmonic motion up and down. Yeah. In uh, a tube. And it's connected to a wire. That generate electricity. So when the poi uh, moves up a cable, turns a generator on the C uh, bit producing uh, power. The question is. The amplitude of the wave, the amplitude is the maximum displacement. So this is X node. 4.3 meter and the wavelength lambda. 35 meter move with a speed of. 3.4 meter per second. Calculate the maximum vertical speed of the poi. Now. The maximum vertical speed V will be Omega, the angular velocity times the amplitude. I have to find Omega. Omega is 2 pi times the frequency times the amplitude. How can I find the frequency? Frequency is velocity over lambda. The velocity is 3.4. Lambda is 35, and this will give us 0 0.097 hertz. So from here we can find the velocity, the vertical velocity, it will be 2 pi times the frequency, which is 0 0.097 times x naught 4.3, and this will give us 2.6 meter per second. Meter per second. Since I have the frequency, I can calculate the period. Period T is 1 over the frequency. It's the inverse of the reciprocal of the frequency. So 1 divided by 0 0.097 will give us 10 seconds. 10 second. Now we're dealing with simple harmonic motion. We know power is energy over time because the second question he wants you to sketch output power of the generator divided by time. We can think of it since it's, we were dealing with simple harmonic motion. The velocity, it's uh, the uh, x sine or cosine. Now x is the amplitude sine omega t. Now velocity v, velocity is the uh, derivative of x or dx by d, change in time with respect, change in display, distance or uh, displacement divided by change in time or a derivative. So derivative of sine is cosine omega t times the derivative of the angle, which is omega. Power is energy over time. Here the type of energy is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy over time. So kinetic energy is half mass times the velocity. Velocity it will be square. So x naught square omega square cosine square omega t. So if I want to draw this one, okay. Everything is a square, amplitude is square, omega square, so I will not have anything in the negative direction. And the period is 10. So I will have, I thought, as I told you, it could be sine or cosine. So sinusoidal function, it will be like that. Here it should be 10. Each, each uh, distance between each one and the other is 10. So this is the first one. All of them, they have, they should be the same. Height, all of them, they should have the same height, same total energy. 
So here is 10, 20. This is AC current. 30 and so on. D, water can be used in other ways to generate electricity. Outline with reference to energy changes, the operation of a pumped storage uh, hydraulic system. I'll, I'll keep this for you from the note. You have it here, the hydraulic power uh, in the note where we have uh, store uh, uh, potential energy in, wa uh, in water in mountains lake can be converted to electricity. So here we have uh, potential energy. The initial energy we started up with is potential energy. It's converted to kinetic energy. Here we have a turbine. So when water flows on the plates of the uh, turbine, it starts to generate inside. Of course, inside the generator, we have magnet. So we will uh, generate uh, current, AC current. OK. So you have it here in the note and you will go to uh, pump storage system. Here, the pump storage system in the note. It's already explained there. OK, next. The water in a particular uh, pump storage hydraulic system falls a vertical distance at vertical distance. So vertical distance, this is the height, 270 meter. Calculate the speed at which water arrives at the turbine. So here we, we use the energy, the conservation of energy. Initial energy equals final energy. Initial energy, if you remember the conservation of energy work, plus initial energy will equal the final energy plus energy lost as a fraction. We don't have work. The energy initial we started up with is a potential energy, gravitational potential energy. It's converted to kinetic energy. So potential energy, it's mass times free fall acceleration times height equals kinetic energy half m mass times velocity squared. We have the same mass of water. So m can be canceled out. Cross multiplication and take square root. So velocity V will be 2 G H under the square root. So if I take, if I consider G is 10, H is 270. You should get 73 meter per second. Don't forget the unit. OK. Now next. The hydraulic system has four 240 megawatt generator. Now what is a unit of power? So the total power is four times 250 megawatt megawatt. Determine the maximum time for which the hydraulic system can maintain full output when a mass of 1.5, so here this is the mass of water, is 1.5 times 10 to the power 10 kilogram, passes it through the turbine. Now remember power, energy, over time, I need to find the time just to swap. So it will be energy over the power. We have the power, but we need to find energy. The initial energy for hydraulic system, it's gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is MGH divided by the power. So T will equal mass is 1.5 times 10 to the power 10. G is 10. H is 270 divided by the power is 4 
times 250 mega, it means 10 to the power 6, 10 to the power 6 watt. And this is 4 times 10 to the power 4 second. You can convert it to hour. Okay, convert it to hour. One hour is 3,600 seconds, 60 times 16. Second and second, they cancel. So 4 times 10 to the power 4 divided by 3,600. It's around 11, 11 hours, 11 hours. Okay. Now the last section of this question, not all stored energy can uh, be uh, retrieved because of energy losses in the system. Explain two such of the losses. We have losses in the turbine as a friction, as heat as well. OK, uh, we have also sound loss in the turbine. Um, in the pipe itself, we have we have a friction loss because of resistance. So the type of resistance it could be. Resistance. Friction. Friction loss. Whether in the pipe. Or. Generator. Sound loss. Sound loss where in the generator in the turbine. Okay, that's it. See you in the next video.